Hello everyone and welcome back to Drug Lord Tycoon. Today's video we're going to talk about the meth side of things in this game, whereas the previous video we dealt with the weed business and how to build your empire. So if you want to see that video, there will be a link in the description below. So first off, if you want to get into the meth business, it's going to cost you 10 skill points just to unlock the first tier. Luckily enough, I have 9 skill points and we're just barely away from getting another one. And once we harvest the weed from our starting warehouse, we should gain a level to give us 10 skill points. And afterwards, we're going to use this starting warehouse to cook our meth since we already have the established dealers and when we unlock this we're going to get the cooking station the cooling station the crystallization the packing table meth products and propane tank so i'm going to cut ahead for when we get that and once we got our 10 skill points we're going to come over here to the meth skill tree and buy the first skill also we came back to the starting warehouse and cleared it all out except for our computer and now we can buy our meth supplies so from the shop tab we're going to go over to the newly acquired meth tab and buy our stations we're going to buy a cooking station a cooling station a crystallization station a packaging table meth chemicals and propane it's going to cost eighty two hundred dollars so for our packaging station we're going to place it right next to our computer like before our cooking stations we're going to place in this corner next we're going to place our cooling station right next to the cooking station and then our crystallization station right next to the cooling station this is just for now so we understand the process i'm gonna get my propane tank place it in the cooking station get our chemicals and place them inside as well now we just gotta wait until it cooks while we do that we're gonna buy some more propane and more chemicals so unlike the weed business where you can have a sprinkler water your plants for you and you just have to pick them this is gonna be a little bit more hands-on and take a little bit longer in just a few seconds we'll get our first batch now we gotta place it into the cooling station and wait for it to cool now that it's done cooling we can take it and place it over to the crystallization table which looks like it can hold two and since it's gonna take a little bit longer what we need to do is just buy more cooking stations and after a few minutes the crystallization is done we can pick it up and place it into our packaging station now it seems like every tray of low grade will give us 50 in total and packaging 100 grams will give us 4500 just 500 dollars more than purple kush weed but i think it's almost better off to doing the weed side of business first before you start doing meth so if you were just starting out instead of doing the weed path you went in the meth path this is the layout i have as you can see i have five cooling stations across the front here my packaging station is over here i have three crystallization stations which is two each so two four six and I have another cooling station up here for a grand total of six cooling stations that can then be put into the crystallization station. Then I also have six cooking stations on each station. I have two chemicals and two propane. And now all we got to do is just wait for these to be cooking. So what I recommend doing if you go down this path is stocking up on chemicals and propane. Now this is the pain in the butt part instead of weed where you have seed packets where you can have 10 in each packet 15 or 30 this you only have one and you got to move each individual one and now what i'm gonna do is skip ahead until we have more skill points so i can show you more of the meth tree okay after a couple of hours of grinding we're at level 64 and we have seven hundred and forty thousand dollars, and we change our layout just a tad bit right now we have seven meth stations all right here in the central area and then we have eight cooling stations along with four crystallization trays giving us a total of eight spots and we also have enough skill points to buy out the rest of the tree but we're going to go through this step by step for starters after getting the first skill i would recommend going for the cooling station since this is 100 percent cooling speed rather than our half speed with level one i would also skip the crystallization station level two because all it does is give us one extra slot at the crystallization station and it looks a little bit bulky with those two fans on the side so for two points we're gonna buy the cooling station level two after unlocking that we can actually unlock the meth cook station level two which will cook us medium grade meth for five skill points now we're gonna go through the medium grade and i'll show you how much you can get from that and after a few minutes we change our layout to have our level two cooling stations and our level two cook stations the same as before but we still have the level one meth crystallization stations so without further ado let's get some of this cooking so we can see how much level two gives us in profit and just like that our first batch is done let's put them in the cooling stations and see how fast this goes and as you can see the difference in speed this is ticking down by one and this is ticking down by two so this is a better upgrade rather than getting the crystallization station level two and once they're done we just take them over to the crystallization station and since these don't change in speed we can keep these as the regular level ones for now and with the crystallization finally completed we got our first batch of medium grade meth and it seems like each batch gives us 55 grams of meth and the grand total of 100 grams of medium grade meth is five thousand five hundred dollars which is not bad but the process takes a little bit longer and now we're gonna move on to level three we're gonna buy the meth crystallization level three because this holds five slots rather than just the three so we're gonna buy that for two points next we're also gonna buy the meth cooling station level three it's got the same cooling effect as the level two but it holds two slots so we're gonna purchase that as well and finally we're gonna grab 
the meth cook station level three for high grade meth for five points we'll show this later but we're gonna buy the meth worker for three skill points and the meth stalker for three points as well but i think this requires a bigger warehouse so after purchasing the east avenue for two hundred fifty thousand dollars, we have our big spacious warehouse to cook our high grade meth and after a few hours this is the setup i came up with and i'm going to break it down piece by piece for starters, I have five by 11 rows of level three cooking stations for a grand total of 55 cooking stations. Now this wasn't cheap because each of the cooking stations cost $7,500 for a grand total of $412,500. After that, we have two rows of 12 of the level three cooling stations for a grand total of 28 stations. Now each of the stations can hold two spots and that's a grand total of 56 spots. Now this also wasn't cheap because each of the cooling stations cost $4,500 for a grand total of $126,000. And finally, we have two rows of six of level three crystallization stations for a grand total of 12 stations. Now, each of these stations holds five items for a grand total of 60 items. And also these cost $6,000 each for a grand total of $72,000. And just in case you're wondering, the total price of all this was $610,500. So let's start cooking up some of this meth. We'll do it by hand the first time, but once we get workers in here, they'll do the whole process for us. And our first batch is done. We'll just take it and place it into our cooling unit. Now, once this is done cooling, we just take it over to the crystallization stations like so. And now we gotta wait for these to crystallize. And once it's done crystallizing, we're gonna take it and place it into our packaging table. And each one gives us 60 grams of meth. And the total value of a 100 gram package is 6,500. Now that we've seen the process and the total value of high grade meth, Let's get some workers in here and I'll showcase that next. Now, when you hire your stalker, make sure you're not buying the cannabis stalker and you're buying the meth stalker first. And we got our shelf already here for him to stock and I want him to stock both these items. Okay, after that jump cut, I hired myself 11 meth workers and they're handling the cooking station, the cooling station, the crystallization station into my packaging table. And I also have a meth stalker to give them supplies that they need. And all I have to worry about is just bagging up the meth and giving it to the dealers and this was a guide to the mess side of things in drug lord tycoon if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow if you want to see more videos of drug lord tycoon in the future as they update the game let me know in the comment section below if you want to see a funny video click the video on the left if you want to see more tutorial videos click the video on the right and like always i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video